Hey guys, need some more light. I'm gonna have to scoot the table over. That was unexpectedly loud. All right, there we go. What's going on y'all, what's going on? <clears throat> this is gonna be my Wednesday upload. I decided to go live on YouTube for the first time. So I'm really excited about that. Tonight, I'm going to be doing this live on um, rolling trays because I have a rolling tray seminar coming up. I had a couple people ask me about doing another one. Um, so I kind of want to just give you guys like a preview of what the rolling tray class consists of. If you guys can, please share my live, share my live, share my live. Um, I have already tried the, oh wait, I got a share button right here. Hold on. Let me see if I can share it. Share it, you guys. Share the link if you can. But then where did it want me to go from there? Hmm. Who knows? Anyway, tonight is going to be um, a preview of my rolling tray class. So tonight, I'm gonna teach you guys how I paint my rolling trays and just show you some of the things that um, you will learn um, within the rolling tray class. <clears throat> if you use my code as always, um, Gucci Crafts 20, you, you will get 20% off of the class itself. The link for the class is posted in the description for the live. But just to show you some of the things that I do teach in the actual rolling tray class, how to glitter the tray. And there's no Mod Podge on under the surface. The Mod Podge just sealed everything. This is actually glittered with acrylic paint because it just comes out better that way and it gives it more sparkle. Um, I also teach how to do multi-layered painting on trays, all the different sizes. Um, this one is actually a mixture of hydro dipping and glitter. And these can be sealed with epoxy. This is just a two-tone. So I teach in the class how to get these different effects. This is one of my favorite trays. This is actually a hydro dip tray. I love this tray. And that's dipped and painted all the way around. And so many more. I did this with just like sequins to give it that textured look. This one here is a tricolor. And you see how the lines, they fade into each other. So I teach how to get that technique, how to get that down. Um, another one that I love, love, love is this one. This is a four colors, but it's actually done with a sequence as well. Once it's painted, just taking the sequence over it like a sponge. And this one actually has like five different colors um, that I spray. So those are some of the things that I teach um, within that class. I also teach how to do the actual accessories as well. Um, so tonight, because I'm live, you guys can type questions in the chat. Hold on, let me move these so they don't get messed up. Oh, this one too. I love this tray. This tricolor tray with the tricolor accessories. So again, this is just like a preview of what will come in that class. I want to move all this stuff just so that it doesn't get paint on it. Thank you so much. So what we're going to do tonight, if I can move this around. is I'm going to show you guys if I can position y'all the right way. How I do single um, painting on my rolling trays. 
and my accessories. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. So because I'm live, hey, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> because I'm live, I wanna have you guys help me pick the color for one of the trays that we're gonna do tonight. So I'm gonna do it in a solid color. I have three different color pinks. This is like a coral. This is berry. That's the same too. This one is like a magenta, more like a fuchsia color. We have like a seafoam blue. They call it seaside. I call it seafoam because that's what it reminds me of. Berry. Okay, so I got berry. I got magenta. And then I have this key lime. Oh, God, this key lime is so pretty. Um, what other colors we have here? We got purple, <clears throat> red, um, this gold metallic, which I usually mix with something because you can't really see it too well. And this glitter blue, I usually would mix it with something too. But those are the colors that we got. So, key lime, I'm doing solid colors. So, I'm not doing any um, mixtures tonight. So I got like three votes for the key lime. Hold on. Let me see. Chat viewing options. Let me make it so all messages are visible so I can see. Key lime is pretty. I have these colors and I'm in love with them. So I got three votes for key lime. So it looks like we're going to do key lime. At least for the first one. Then maybe we can take an, another vote for the second one. Hey, Alex, how you doing, honey? Key lime. Okay, so it's going to be key lime. We got so many votes for the key lime. I like the key lime too, y'all. So we're going to be doing the round trays. Y'all yeah. share the live. Share, share, share. You can share this link um, on Facebook. If I don't get too many of y'all, then I got to move the live over to Facebook. And I want this to count as my Wednesday upload. Hold on. Wait, why it just took the... I said I wanted all the comments to be visible. Now I can't. Thank you so much, Tamika. I love doing these trays. So what we want to do with our spray paint is we want to shake it really good. You want to hear those balls rolling around in there because that's going to help the spray paint come out and be distributed evenly. Okay. And then what I have here, my little contraption here that helps me spray, you see I use it a whole heck of a lot. This is, um, I found that this actually gives you a very even spray. Um, your finger is not tired from holding it and trying to spray it. Um, and it, it just gives better paint coating. And this was only like $3 at Home Depot. You can get them at Walmart as well for like three bucks. Not that bad. So I put it on there and I make sure, of course, that the nozzle is facing forward. We're going to paint this one. I want y'all to have a really good angle. Ooh, Lord. This is a new stand that I got, so I have to learn how to get it positioned the right way so that y'all are able to see. There we go. I'm going to try to stay to the side so you guys can see how I spray this one. So as you can see, a lot of paint happens in this area. Okay, so I'm going to shake it really good again. Just I like to make sure that all the paint is really mixed up in there because if it's not mixed up really good and you go to spray it, it comes out in this nasty little spurts and it can get on your tray to run. So what I do is I spray in a sweeping motion, as you can tell from all the paint in the box. But I start here on this end and I just keep going over. And then you'll see me go to the back as well to make sure that I get the inseam. On the circle trays, 
You don't really have to worry too much about getting an inseam because you don't have um, a lip like the triangle trays where the paint is not actually getting to it. So we'll start. And I'm just doing a sweep in motion. Trying to cover as much of the tray as I can. And you really should be doing this with a mask. But I can't find mine, so. And I wanna go over here to the back to make sure that I get the inseam on this side. This sprayer also allows for a very thin mist to come out. You're not too late, Miss Keisha. We're, we're really just getting started. This is just the first coat. So with this sprayer, like I was saying, it allows for a very fine mist to come out. And that way you don't get pooling um, when you go to spray paint, because if you're just right on top of it and you're pressing that nozzle with your finger, it's very easy to get pooling. And once the pooling is there, you can't get rid of it. And it really doesn't look nice on your tray. Only way to get rid of it is to, to strip the entire tray. So what I do as far as the coats go, and that key lime, that was a good choice, y'all, because it looks really nice. Um, what I do as far as my coats go is I wait about two or three minutes in between coats, and I'll spray it again. I clean my trays with just a paper towel. That's it. I just wipe them off with a paper towel. When I first started doing this, um, I was wiping my trays off with alcohol, you know, that medical field crap, trying to make sure they were sterile, I guess. Um, but what I noticed is that if that alcohol didn't dry all the way, um, or there was some residual alcohol left on there when I sprayed the spray paint, it wouldn't mix. It would just give me like these little black balls all over it. So. I just make sure that I um, wipe the trays off with the paper towel and then I kind of blow them a little bit just so that there's nothing left over from the paper towel and then I just spray. I don't do nothing extra special to it. Let me see if I missed anything. Okay. All right, so we're getting ready to get our second coat in. I'm gonna shake it again. You notice I'm not shaking it like this because I don't want this to pop off. So I'm shaking the bottle itself just to make sure that my paint is still really mixed up really good in there. And this is um, two times paint and primer, but I generally always give two coats of the paint and then I do a coat of the clear spray paint and a lot of people say well why you do clear spray paint if you're just going to cover it with epoxy um and the reason is because when you go to put your vinyl on there or you go to put your sticker paper on there that clear spray paint actually protects the paint itself so that you're not pulling that paint back off with you when you do that I've seen a lot of people that they get the tray painted you know and the tray takes 24 hours to dry so you've waited this whole day for the tray to dry and then when you go to put your decal on it you're ripping the spray paint back off so I cover it with the clear spray paint, even though it's gonna get epoxy. So now, hey, Miss Joanna, hi, Kiki. Y'all share my live, share my live. I'm gonna do the first half of this live um, on YouTube for the painting, and then when I go to lay my decals on my other tray inside in epoxy, I'm gonna switch over to Facebook. So y'all can follow me over to Facebook if you like. But this one is just, we're just gonna paint. Okay. So I got it all shaken up. Now I'm gonna do my second coat. And again, I suggest y'all wear a mask when y'all do this. I'm gonna come to the back again to make sure that I get that inseam. I'm going to take you guys down there so you can see the coverage on that tray. Smooth. Doesn't even look like it was ever silver. You don't see any pooling. 
the extra spray paint on there. And that's what you want. You want a nice, clean, smooth surface. Now that's gonna be our key line. We also need to paint, let me move this up. I have something else over here drying. We'll move it here to dry. So with our key lime, we also are going to have to do our accessories for our key lime tray. And I like to paint those at the same time. For some reason, mine continues to run. Are you using a sprayer? Because that's the main reason why I use this sprayer. I don't spray it with my finger um, because you can be very heavy handed when you're spraying it with your finger. I use this and you, I'm barely pressing on that trigger and I'm making sure that the whole time I'm spraying that I'm constantly moving, okay? So when I paint the second one, just pay attention or when I paint the accessories, just pay attention to my wrist movement. Yeah, the, it, it shouldn't run if you're constantly moving your wrist when you're spray painting back and forth. Show chat, where, where y'all comments go? Okay, there they go. Thank you, Miss Vega. Yes, it is so beautiful. Now we're gonna do our accessories. So we're gonna do um, our metal jar top and the top that is going to go onto our tube, okay? So I'm gonna turn you guys around here just a second so you can see it, see what I'm doing. And how I go about spraying the accessories. So you see, I just got a makeshift um, painting studio in here. <laughs> but I spray my accessories, I sweep as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to walk around while I'm sweeping to make sure that I'm getting all sides. So that's our first coat of that one. Now we're going to give my clear coat. This one we're almost out of, but this one <clears throat> we're going to give. Our green, our lime green tray, it's clear coat. And we're gonna do it in the same fashion that we did the first one. Now that one's completely coated. All that one has to do is sit there and dry. And now we can give, y'all can barely see those accessories now. It's so lime green over there. But now we can give our accessories their second coat. Wait a few minutes, give them a clear coat. And then the only job that they have to do is sit there and dry.
Oh, don't land on my stuff. Freaking mosquito. So we'll wait a few minutes for that one and then we'll spray it with the clear coat. And again, it's only job now is to sit there and dry. So for the next one that we're going to paint, my dears, I'm gonna have you guys vote on the next color. We've already done the lime green. We have this coral, which is so pretty. This color is so pretty. We have the berry pink. We have a magenta. That magenta is really pretty too. Seaside blue, this blue is really pretty too. Berry, okay, I got one vote for berry. I also have a very bright fire red. Um, and then I have like a great purple. This purple is pretty too. My Facebook page is Gucci Wilson. Um, I'm going to go live from my um, fan page, Gucci Crafts, Seaside Blue Coral. So after we paint this second one, I'm going to go live from um, my Gucci Crafts Facebook page. It's the fan page for the YouTube. So if you go to Facebook and go at Gucci Crafts, you can find it, Coral. So I have two for Coral. Hey, Miss Alicia. And, um... On the Gucci Crafts page, when I go live from there, we're going to be epoxying a tray and laying down the decals for it. So I told myself I was going to dedicate an hour tonight to Facebook, even though I have so much, to social media, period, YouTube and Facebook, even though I have so much going on. Hey, my darling. So I have two votes for, Cor three votes for Coral. So it looks like Coral is going to win, you guys. Coral's winning. All right, let me give our um, accessories their clear coat, and then we will move on. If this little mosquito bug thing grabs, the man across the street got a swimming pool, and now it is mosquito season when one of them didn't die, I'm probably going to be bit the hell up by the time I go in the house. All right. Let's clean up after ourselves a little bit. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so Coral's going to be the next one that we do. Oh, a bug fell in our green one, y'all. It's a mosquito in there. Hold on. We got to try to get that out. Without freaking it up. got a little bitty spot in there, but I can cover that with some decal. That won't be bad. I have too much paint on it now to, um, to repaint it. We're gonna move this one over. And what I have learned in the past is that I have to kind of cover those with something. Hold on. Let me run in the house real quick, you guys. Hold on. So what I'm doing is covering this so that the mist from the coral doesn't get on there. It's happened to me before. And it actually came out pretty good, but... Because it was for a client and that wasn't the color they wanted, I had to do it over. All right. So we got our coral. This was voted on and approved. I'm gonna snap that on there. Make sure you see it. And again, you guys, this is a preview 
for the tray seminar that I'm going to be holding in um, at the end of June, June 30th. The link for the class is in the description box. If you use my code GUCCICRAFTS20, you get 20% off of the class. I think the class is, the class is at $25, 25% off. I'm 20% off. Um, can't do the math in my head right now, but you, you spend in like $16, $17, something like that for the class. And you're going to get an SVG bundle with that class as well. You're going to get SVG bundles um, for rolling trays and, S and an SVG bundle to do an actual beauty tray with. So you get two free files with that class. Um, you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, honey. Go watch some more of my videos because I need about two thousand more watch hours before they monetize me. <laughs> so that's why I do the classes to help supplement um, because these materials for these videos ain't free. All right, let me move you guys over more. When you get ready to start your channel, Joanna, you holla at me, girl, and I'll teach you some of this YouTube algorithm stuff that you got to know. It ain't all roses, but it's worth it because I love helping you guys. And I love when people show me stuff they made from watching my tutorials. All right, let's get it in. Sweeping motions across the tray. And if you notice, I'm not right on the tray. I'm hovering over it with those sweeping motions. That is so pretty. Now we get up the back. Sweeping motions. That way you don't have a bunch of runoff or a bunch of pooling. You have smooth coverage all the way around. And that is going to be a beautiful tray. We let that sit for a couple of minutes. And we can actually, let's do the accessories real quick while that sits. I'm gonna move this over. Hold on, you guys. I'll turn you guys this way. So you'll be able to see. And it's the same thing like when we just did the other one. Sweeping motion across the bottom. And I'm just going to go around. You can also accomplish this by just turning your actual piece of cardboard, but because of what I had it sitting on, I'm walking around it. Our accessories. And this paint gives you really good coverage, really good coverage. Somebody was saying something. I seen a never mind. Okay. I will call you when I'm ready. Yes, my love. You give me a call. For y'all that follow me on Facebook and stuff, y'all know my inbox is always open. All right, you guys, second coat before I get ate up, up out here. Something definitely bit my leg. <laughs> Damn, mosquitoes. Remember, sweeping motions. You don't need that much spray paint on the actual item. I'm 
I'm gonna give my accessories a couple more seconds and then we'll do those. Our green is protected. There's no pink paint on it, yay. And when I epoxy my tray on my um, Facebook, Gucci Crafts, go to Facebook, at Gucci Crafts. After I get off of here, I'm gonna take a little five minute intermission and I'm going live on Facebook um, from the Gucci Crafts fan page. I'm gonna go live from there. And I'm gonna try to do um, to, to do some epoxy with glow in the dark spray paint. This is a little experiment that I wanted to try. Um, I've got a, a actual tray to glow. Um, but I want to see what happens when I put it inside of the epoxy, if it will still glow. It's going to be fun. Yeah, so I can't I can't wait to do that experiment and see the glow in the dark paint. Um, I'm gonna have to spray it in a cup because you can't spray it down in the epoxy. And you want to add your color to your epoxy after you've done after you're done mixing it. You don't want to add it in there while you're mixing. It needs to go in after the epoxy is well mixed and ready to pour. Actually, if you took my epoxy class, you learned that. All right, let's give our clear coat. And again, this clear coat is just to protect when we get ready to put our decal um, onto the actual tray so that it doesn't pull the paint up. So now our tray has this clear coat. Dang it, get away from me, mosquito. The link to the class is in the description of this live. Um, you'll also find the links on the Gucci Crafts page as well, but the link to the class is in, in the description box for here. And also, if you type in, when you go to the website to purchase the class, if you type in Gucci Crafts, G-U-C-C-I-C-R-A-F-T-Z 20, all capital letters, you're gonna get 20% off of that $25. So you're not even paying $25 for the class. And you're going to get two free fouls with that class. And the class is two hours. It's a two-hour seminar. Thank you, Ms. Joanna. That class is a two-hour seminar. It's one of the longest classes that I teach. Even my epoxy class is only an hour. Doing this tray seminar, you're going to learn how to do so many different things with the tray. I was showing you guys earlier. Mm, hold on. Because I don't want to mess up any of the ones that are already painted. So I'm going to sit them here. Doing that class, I'm going to go over how you do your tricolor trays and accessories. We're going to do hydro dipping. That's a hydro dip tray all the way around coverage with hydro dipping. We have our two-tone tray. This tray is actually a mix of being painted and then hydro dipped and then having glitter added to it. I don't know how well you can see all that glitter, how it's sparkling. Also, I go over um, how to Glitter tray completely. That's glittered with, uh, let me get better lighting. This is not glittered with Mod Pop. It's actually gl glittered with acrylic paint because it gives you a, a better hold and then it's sealed with a Mod Podge. Um, let's see, more hydro dipping. This one is another tricolor tray that um, I actually use the sequence pattern on to get that effect onto the tray. But you're gonna learn how to do those things within the tray class. Again, it's a two hour seminar. Not only do you learn how to do the trays, but you're also going to learn um, how to do the accessories as well. With the beauty trays, um, I do, I show you how to hydro dip the makeup brush holder. Okay, and I showed you the tray that matches this one, I think. 
Um, and then I also teach you how to do a makeup bag. So the glow in the dark, the one that I just did, it has epoxy over it and it actually is still glowing in the dark, but it's not glowing in the dark as bright as it was before the epoxy was put on there. So that's why I want to experiment to see if I put the epoxy, um, and if I put the glow in the dark paint inside of the epoxy, what will happen? Is it going to change the color of the epoxy too much? Because it kind of really comes out as like a clearish green color. Um, you can't really see it. It doesn't really affect your paint too much. But what I did notice is that if you cover the glow in the dark paint with a clear coat, it doesn't show. It will no longer glow in the dark. So that's why I want to see if it'll do it with the epoxy. What I had to do is I had to basically spray the glow in the dark paint over my clear coat again and then i had to um put a little bit of glue behind my waterproof sticker paper which is a permanent paper and it usually sticks i've had to scrape that stuff off my kitchen table like the adhesive on there is just ridiculous but it would not stick to the glow in the dark paint because it's kind of rough it's not smooth um like the regular paint so we're gonna see what happens we're gonna see what happens let us protect um Our pink one so a bug doesn't try to fall in it like the green one all right you guys so again i'm getting ready i'm coming out of this garage because i'm getting bit up my leg itching i think something bit me on the back so we are leaving the garage behind and we are coming in this is the glow in the dark tray that i did I will show you guys, but it, you can't really see the glow in the dark. What'd you say? I couldn't see it. It went away so fast. When's the next time? I don't know. It all depends. You got to tell me, honey. So, the tray that we're getting ready to epoxy on Facebook Live um we're gonna do the tray and we're going to do the accessories to the tray i'm gonna put all of the accessories and everything together and epoxy the accessories as well so if you would like to see that please go to facebook to the at gucci crafts page it's my fan page i will be on there live in about five minutes i'm taking a five minute intermission um just to gather all the stuff i need for that and I'm going to be over there. So please join me if you will. And I'll see you guys in a second. Thank you so much for watching. Don't get to sign up for that trade class, you guys, because it is going to be bomb if you really want to learn. All right.